The outbreak of white spot in Queensland has already devastated prawn farming, but now the tough biosecurity measures brought in to stop it spreading are taking a toll on other seafood industries. Melanie Vukovic has the details. Lionel Reasonweber is a fourth generation crabber from Queensland's Redland Bay. He says he's one of about 200 commercial fishermen in the area whose businesses have suffered because of white spot. I'm no different than anyone else. I have a mortgage, I have car payments, I, um, I have a partner, I have five kids. In December, right before the most productive and profitable season, the state government imposed a control zone to try to contain the virus. It means uncooked crustaceans can't be sold outside the local area. So I had crabs sitting there on the floor ready to go to Sydney, where I would have got good money for it. I had to sell in Brisbane and lost $15 a kilo on that same product. In the month since, Lionel Reasonweber's income has halved and there's a flow-on effect. It's the associated business with it, carding companies, the employees of the prawn farms, bait and tackle shops that reduced in sales for that time period. The fisherman's father also works these waters. Tony Reasonweber was one of the largest exporters of wild mud crabs on the east coast. It's devastation. I've never seen it like this ever. He's worried about the future of his family business because of the disruption to his long-time buyers. Most of his catch went to restaurants interstate. So when and if this ever lifts, we've now got the battle to try and re-establish markets in those areas. It's a familiar story and not everyone is convinced the measures are necessary. It's not going to harm anybody because it's cooked before it's eaten. So far, no cramps have died from white spot, but they're carriers of the disease. Biosecurity Queensland says its hands are tied. Other states and buyers are saying, well, I want to make sure that there's no risk of any further spread. So uh, while the risk is low, we are looking at pathways of which we can get product into restaurants where it will be safe to eat and, and used. Biosecurity officers continue to survey the control zone for white spot. So far, there have been no cases outside of the restricted area. Melanie Vujkovic, ABC News, Redland Bay.